Hello folks. So I wanted to show you, uh, if uh, you caught my last video, I went out, uh, started things up, and then I abandoned it because uh, I was, uh, I found my, my scope was not uh, collimated. In fact, I had collimated it with a Cheshire eyepiece and um, it was looking really good. But when I got out there, I could see that it wasn't good. And uh, uh, when I looked at the actual images, and so I wanted to show you why, and uh, show you why, like uh, these these devices are not really very good for uh, collimation. If you want to astro do astrophotography, you really need to actually uh, look at the images and uh, uh, do some collimation with uh, using the images. So. Um, what I did, I'll show you. Well, I'll show you what, what I had. So uh, I'll take, say, th well, I'll take, oops. Um, let's see. Let's see, oops. I want to take uh, four of each here. Let's see, that four of each, okay. So the cone nebula is where I was uh, that night, and uh, the needle galaxy is what I did following uh, a recollimation. So this is a CCD inspector, and it will analyze the images and show you what the collimation's like, what there's, whether there's tilt or anything. So I've loaded all of these, and I can just say measure all, and it'll do some uh, base, basic measurements. Uh, it'll give me the uh, full width half maximum of the uh, of, uh, average and uh, that's asking for my my uh, what the uh, image scale is on my camera uh, it's not in my files so uh, the default is uh, my camera and uh, and scope combination so it's analyzing the files and it's giving you FWHM Average FWHM aspect, meaning a low number is like a good aspect, meaning a, the, the height and width are the same. Um, background noise, uh, contrast ratio. Okay, so it's done. And you can see that the night of the cone nebula, when I, I basically aborted and went home, uh, I got like over six here. And here, uh, after fixing it, it was, uh, I got say down to 3.17 as a good one. Um, so let's see what the cone nebula one looked like. We'll take a 30 second. Uh, it's also got the F best FWHM. And uh, we'll do the curvature uh, analysis. <clears throat> doesn't take very long there we go so here you can see so here you can see the blue the black is when it's in focus and then it grades to blue and green and red and reds completely out of focus uh, so the focus point was actually way off but you can also see it also shows you physical and optical um, centers but uh, and you can see here the collimation error is 28.5 seconds and it shows some tilt but uh, what I found is that uh, these these numbers kind of like uh, if you have bad collimation you're gonna have show uh, tilt as well so it, it doesn't uh, I'm not sure that it um, distinguishes between the two very well um well it may be it may be because this is not so fo well focused either and also the focus is way off here so uh and you can see this crosshair and i can magnify it the the air so you can see the collimation the air and that kind of goes in line with the focus being here and out there. It's, you can see it follows that same line. So that was that night, and uh, I, I gave up on it and decided I have to come back another time to uh, collimate. So I came back to collimate, 
And let's look at this one. We'll do curvature. So uh, let me explain actually how I collimated it. So I went back out and I now tried to make sure that I had a focus right in the center. And then I looked at the edges and uh, here, here, and here. And I tried to balance out the, uh, the distortions because no scope is perfect including mine and and it's 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 just it's a physical property of the of the lenses uh, that it, it will tend to radially distort at uh at the edges and and so and I even I took the flattener off so I could see that actually um so I had the flattener off and the focus point in, right in the middle make, made sure of that and then I I started adjusting the collimation so that I balanced the all edges as far as uh, radial distortion so um then i did that and then i started uh, imaging then the needle galaxy oh sorry i hit the wrong one okay needle galaxy let's see curvature You see how aligned this is now. Now again, my focus isn't so good because it shows a little off in the center and more uh, accurately in the edges. Um, so uh, that, there's not, that's not the most horrible thing. Sometimes uh, you might, you some people actually focus a little further out so that overall the image is, uh, has a better focus. But here, uh, if I had focused uh, in the middle, uh, properly, uh, you'd see black in the middle and then light going to blues on the outside. And, and of course, in this one, you can see right away, it's very centered. Everything's concentric. Um, the focus is a little off, but that's okay. And you can see up here, the collimation error is three seconds instead of 28 seconds. Tilt is almost zero, 0.2 and 0.5 seconds. So it's very good. So this was me collimating uh, by eye, basically uh, looking at the images that were the result, making an adjustment, taking another image. And, and, and uh, I, actually, I did this with uh, not exactly real time, but maybe uh, the images were being updated and uh, I, could, I could adjust it as I went. And uh, so I wanted to show that, that Basically, uh, if you're into astrophotography, uh, you're going to have to do some good collimation. <laughs> and I don't think, uh, well, I found what I could not get it properly done with uh, the tools like uh, Cheshire eyepieces and uh, laser collimators. They, they, you put them into your, uh, you know, the eyepiece holder and things like that. And they're pointing in, in the wrong direction. They, they don't really line up very well. So... Uh, uh, you can do what I did, which is basically balance out all your distortions and look at your image and keep taking images and keep adjusting. And in this case, I'm going to go back out and I'm going to adjust this. Uh, let's do the magnify cross here. You can see it's very, it's not, it's out a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go back out. I'm going to uh, do this in real time and, and uh, adjust. And I'm going to get this down to one. Uh, right now it's good, but uh, I'm going to get it down to one if I can. And then I think I'm good for the season. Uh, it's a refractor, so it should not uh, go out of collimation. So that's uh, the story today. And then uh, the next time you see, uh, I will show you my result um, of the... Uh, oh, I had the... Uh, I'll show you the result at the end of this uh, at the end of this video of my uh, needle galaxy, and uh, then the next uh, outing, I'll, I'm going to take a, a another uh, target and um, probably M106, and it'll be with this thing all centered out, one second maybe of collimation here, and everything should be about as good as I can get. All right, thanks.